Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in the Cuban in this Two Minute Tuesday. I am going to answer a question that I got last week that was interesting. And there's kind of two aspects to this video. So the question was, hey, can I put a PowerPoint item inside of a published app? And I was like, huh, never tried. So enough of all this talking. Let's head over to my desktop and we'll actually give it a whirl. All right, so I've got my app workspace here and it's already got a published app. And so what I'm going to do here is I've already got a PowerPoint ready to go. I'm just going to grab the URL because they said they wanted to put the PowerPoint inside of the published app. So we need the web URL to do that. I can't just upload a PowerPoint file. And so let me go to update app. We'll go to navigation. I'm using the new navigation builder. So uh, if you don't, if you aren't using this new navigation builder, I'm going to tell you right now, it's just not possible. You got to use the new navigation piece. So let me go and do new and then we'll do a link. From a link, we can do a couple options here. We can open in a new tab, a current tab or content area. And they wanted the content area. So they want it to be a part of the app itself. And so let me go ahead and put the link here, paste. And then we'll do PowerPoint. All right. And we'll do update app. Let's just see if this works. And one thing we'll see here is we'll see PowerPoint over in the app navigation menu. We'll hit PowerPoint and no bueno. That didn't work. But remember, I said that there's kind of two purposes for this video. The first is actually figuring out how to do this. But the second is just the thought process of when people ask me questions, I don't know. I'm going to go try it, right? So we that's how Patrick and I learn this stuff is we just go try it. We don't know everything. And so once we try things, we see those error messages and then we know how stuff works as a result. So I challenge you, if you ever find something where you're like, I don't know how to do this or I don't know if Power BI can do it, try it. Just try it. Like the worst it's going to do is fail, right? So give it a whirl. All right. Back to our PowerPoint story. All right, so that didn't work. So let's go ahead and edit. Go back to update app, navigation. So this URL doesn't work. So one thing I know uh, from working in this before is that when I wanted to embed a YouTube video, I needed the embed URL, not the direct URL. So let's see if we can get that from a PowerPoint perspective. Uh, there's nothing in here from a, you know, ribbon bar area. So let me go to file and then we'll go to We'll go to save a copy. No. And then we'll do share. Hey, look, there it is. We've got an embed option here so we can embed, get an actual URL for embedding the PowerPoint. So let's click on that. All right. This gives us an actual iframe item. So what we need is that URL within the iframe itself. Go to my trusty editor of choice notepad, and we will grab what's inside of the SRC area. Go back to our app navigation, PowerPoint, paste that in, update the app, and then let's see if this one works. And bam, there we go. We've got PowerPoint inside of our published app. This is bananas. Unbelievable. You can actually put PowerPoint inside of a published app. I didn't even know you could do that. And I can definitely see the value of having something that goes along with your reports and data as well. You can have it in one spot. It's pretty cool. All right. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is this really cool? Do you like the secondary use of this video in terms of just try it and see what happens? I want to know. Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.